Let's dive into WebSockets. What are they? A WebSocket is a communication protocol that enables a two-way real-time communication between a client, which is a mobile app for us, and a server over a real, a single long-lived connection. It's designed for applications that require low latency and very high interactivity like a chat application or online gaming. A WebSocket is particularly valuable because it provides a full duplex communication. What that means is that both the client and the server can send data to each other at any time without the need for a new request from the client. It's in contrast to the traditional uh, HTTP request response models that we have seen during our tutorial where the client sends a request to the server and the server responds. Okay, so WebSocket communication process uh, typically involves a few steps. So the client initiates the connection by sending a WebSocket handshake request to the server. So this request is similar to a HTTP request, but includes a special help header to indicate to the, the intent to establish a WebSocket communication. And thanks to DatFrog, they already have a middleware for that. So we don't need to like manually code it out. We're going to use that package. If a server supports WebSocket, in our case, we'll, have Im we'll implement it. It responds with a WebSocket handshake response, indicating that the connection is upgraded. And once this handshake is completed, the WebSocket connection is established. So we can start implementing bi-directional communication between the client and the server. And if either the client or the server can initiate the closing of the WebSocket connection by sending a close frame, this gracefully terminates the connection. So there's also a closing, there's also a point where you close the WebSocket com connection. I hope that makes sense. Now let's proceed to our application where we'll now see how it works. So let's create a new route for WebSocket connection and We'll just head over to our terminal. And in, at the root, we are just going to add um, that frog new root. And this should create for us a root handler file which is called ws.dat so let's work on it we'll import the that frog websocket that package by running that frog oh sorry by running that pub add it's a dat package dat frog web socket great now back to our root handler let's now work on the web socket connection we'll start by calling that that package that we have imported package that frog web socket then inside here we'll define a web socket handler and we'll pass in it, has, it expects two parameters a channel and a protocol then inside here what we're going to do is just add a semicolon we're going to create a new connection inside here so it already specifies uh, the websocket handler creates a new connection by running this by creating this and inside here what we're going to do is try and print something to show whether it's connected or not after creating the connection so it should be able to print that but we'll just delete it soon as we have pushed our request then we're going to subscribe to this subscribe to the stream of messages from the client by listening so we'll listen for any event or any message that is passed 
and once we receive an incoming message all we want to do in this case because we're not creating a chat application we just want to print out the message for now and after printing out the message we just want to send an outgoing message based uh, from the server side so we just say channel.sync this is how you print out an outgoing message add and inside here we're just going to say echo we're going to echo whatever the server receives from the client this is just a simple way to show you how how it works so we're just going to echo whatever the client bring sends in terms of an incoming message and then after that if it's done and we get to close our term terminate our connection it will just disconnect so let's just print in disconnected then uh, we'll initialize all this to a variable called handler and then let's return our handler let's specify this to future So all that we've done we've opened up a connection we're listening to any message that or any event that happens from the client side and then we're echoing it back basically but for a chat application if it's inside a web socket you find that a user one user would actually send a message and it's forwarded and another user will pass in another message so it will be listening to messages from different people and echoing out or adding the server will print out whatever different users are actually chatting about but this is just a basic way of doing it something to note is when you're listening you can end up listening the type here is dynamic so if for a chat application when uh, there's a web socket connection that has been enabled when someone actually sends a chat we can the the parameter that would be here could be in form of an object that maybe holds the user name or the user profile and the message that they have sent and then it will add it will send this as an outgoing so you, that's how you see each in chat applications is a message followed by a message someone else is responding so it just adds or it just sends the values to the to the endpoint in our app and just specifying whatever has been passed here so for us to see this in action we'll need to implement it in the mobile app rather than in a call request so let's proceed to the next concept in that program